Hello! Hey guys, welcome to season three of Tomorrow Labs Teardown series season <laughs> yeah. three. Yeah, so what do we have today? Okay, right. yeah. The Eden Garden Sensor was founded in 2013 by Jason Aramburu. When it did work, there would be an app and it would give you these four metrics, light, moisture, humidity, and nutrition. This product is interesting to us for a number of reasons. We had created, uh, uh, for one of our clients, our own version, if you will, of the Eden Garden Sensor. It's called Terralytic. We spent over two years developing and designing this product from all of the soil sensors that live inside to the wireless communication that goes in the head. As we take this apart, we're going to probably draw contrast between the two and figure out um, which does what better. Okay, uh, I want to tear this down and then we'll talk about all the guts. Ooh. All right. Yeah, okay. Boom. Woo! That took about 15 minutes to fully, literally tear apart. Things that we see in here now that we have it apart. Yeah. Uh, we there's a battery. a battery, which we were doing a lot of work not to explode. It, on the bottom, there is an LED and this um, crazy sealed button. And you, when you push the button, it's got this mushy feeling. And that's because it's yeah. totally encased in stuff. Right. And then there's the light sensor so they put a clear lens and then they pot it around the lens yeah. although that can be a little bit weird because um you know whatever your interactions of your materials are unless you um, paint the outside of the lens you might get like weird diffusion or refraction within that right or just uh sensor inaccuracies yeah there's the led that's that's lighting up which as far as we can figure out it's just an indicator to the human to just to show what mode it's in mm -hmm. um just some weird clips in there. Yeah. I'm assuming these clips held the the whole like assembly in place as the epoxy pour came in. Yeah, and then you pour the epoxy in and then they would solder these on and then push that on. Which like in terms of an assembly, it's not bad, yeah. um, but it has a repairability score of negative five. Rather than doing a parting line like this, like you normally would do for a clamshell, they put it on the corners um, and they created a sort of uh, this sort of split yoke parting line and uh and that's just hard to seal they had a you know this like interesting yoke shape and they cut this hole out of the middle and they had these two halves right they had to weld along these lines here and weld around this section in the middle and then they had this open space at the top so they put a ledge here and they stuck their solar panel on with foam tape. Um, and before they did all that, they mm. filled this thing up with epoxy. And it's just like so much epoxy. Yeah. And I get it, it's an outdoor thing, but uh, maybe I'm just still cranky because I was, had to take it apart. But um, it just didn't seem like the architecture of this was fully thought through and it, and it feels like they made a real compromise to enable that beautiful design. Right. But the decisions that they had to make were driven by this. Yeah, this yeah, shape. yeah, yeah. Someone drew okay. a sketch that they fell in love with and, and, and you can make this shape a single piece if you don't Get rid of that. do this hole in the middle. Um, oh, I think the other thing we forgot to mention was this foam, uh, which we think is a desiccant. So if water does ingress, it's captured here and it doesn't go to the, the PCB. I have a second theory, yeah. which is there's a, 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 a antenna under the foam too. Mm -hmm. Maybe the uh, epoxy was causing uh, mm. transmission issues and they decided to put foam around that. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a wild guess That's a good one. Um, without being able to ask mm. anyone. So how are they doing sensing here? And it, it to me, it seems like they've got two wires, yet they claim they're measuring both moisture and nutrients. In order to measure the moisture, we're starting with two plates that are separated by some distance. And then in the, in the case of, of this, we have soil that sits in between, right? Um, and that soil may have um, uh, stuff, in it. stuff in it, moisture in it. Um, Could be different kinds of soil. Right, who knows? Um, and these are simply connected in, uh, in the circuit land. Um, on one side, you have an IC 
or, or um, some type of oscillator that's driving a signal um, and periodically inducing a charge in here. And then on the other side, this is going into a microcontroller um, that then is, is measuring the, the voltage input on that other side. Um, it's influenced by a few things. So you have the distance between the plates. You also have the size of the plates. And then you also have the condition of the medium. And that condition is the capacitance. So we know the distance, we know the size. And so by measuring the capacitance, now we have a, a metric for the condition. Right. Yeah. In design, you would fix these two. Right. And then this is your variable here um, that you're essentially measuring. A little science lesson. A little science for you guys. Well, this was fun. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel down there. It's cool. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Also, if anyone ever wants to send us stuff to tear down, here's our address. Wait, do we put our address? Yeah, we could put our or address. Or email this address. Let's put our, we could put our okay. address. Okay, send it to this address. Care of Tomorrow Lab.